What if Aunt May died instead of Uncle Ben? The robber that Peter allowed to escape ends up shooting Aunt May in their own home. Enraged, Peter reveals his secret to Uncle Ben and goes to hunt down the murderer. Ben chases after Peter to stop him from doing something he may regret. When Spider-Man confronts the killer, he gets so scared that he ends up falling out of a window. When the cops show up, Uncle Ben takes the fall and goes to prison. Because Peter is still a minor, he becomes a ward of the state. He then promises Uncle Ben that he will give up being Spider-Man, but when Jameson's son dies, he ramps up his anti-Spidey propaganda, causing Peter to confront him. Peter then gets in trouble for coming home late and is sent to juvie. He eventually breaks out becomes homeless, and steals food to survive. When the Green Goblin starts killing people, this sets Peter off, causing him to kill Norman. However, Osborne managed to survive, and instead of going to prison, they send him to a psych ward. Peter now sees the two-tiered justice system, and decides to bust Uncle Ben out of prison. Ben refuses to leave, telling Peter this isn't the way. Spider-Man then breaks down into tears, and tells his uncle that everything is his fault, confessing that he could have stopped the robber, but didn't. Ben explains that you can't change the past, but you can change the future. Peter then goes on to live a life his aunt and uncle could be proud of. When Uncle Ben makes parole, he teams up with Spider-Man to stop crime.